welcome back to my channel so I'm so excited to actually film this video um, I saw Tina on YouTube and she done this makeup look and I was really inspired by her and also by Tefa Doll on Instagram I think she came up with this idea it's the Gucci snake on the brows you can also wear this makeup look without the snake and just have this khaki green eyeshadow and red lips for a night out or for Christmas. So if you would like to see how I got this makeup look, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. I'm so excited for this. Um, I was actually inspired by this girl on uh, YouTube. Her name is... So guys, if you ever think where I get my inspiration from, I just check on Instagram and I just kind of save the ones that I really like and end up doing my kind of own style of it. Uh, I'm just trying to find where I was inspired. Okay, so it's from this girl right here. Uh, I was inspired by her and another girl on YouTube here. She's only 16 years old, guys. Oh my God, she is amazing. Uh, she also made a video on this, so I thought I would kind of give it a go and see if I can create what they created so I'm just going to put my hair back don't mind my hair guys I don't know what to do with it I'm actually sick of my hair and I just want to change it up a bit uh, so hopefully I'm going to go and get it dyed someday so first of all I'm going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser that's a mouthful so I'm just going to put on some product on my fingers, blend it on my fingers and just put it all over my face. So I don't really use primer that much but I think it's best if you do, especially if you moisturise before putting anything on your face. And which is a bad habit for me that I don't do that a lot. And also don't forget your neck, because your neck is the most sensitive part of the skin when putting makeup on. So when that's done, I'm just going to do my brows first, like I usually do. And I'm just going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so... The main focus on today's makeup look is the eyes, so I'm just going to finish doing the eyes then I'll do the base afterwards. Okay so for brows I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. It's my absolute favourite for brows, I don't use anything else. And the brush I'm using is by Primark, it's only a pound. Okay, so I'm just going to brush out the brows. Uh, I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to outline first. So I'm going to stop right here and do the same thing on top. And whatever product I've got left, I'm just going to put that on the front bit. It looks a bit thick and dark on camera, but it's actually not. So I'm just going to pick up this concealer right here. It's by LA Girl in the shade Natural. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid and underneath the brow so I can shape it. And get rid of that redness. And then with a beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that all in so I can soften up the concealer and put it into place. So look how clean that looks. I'm also going to do that on the top bit. To set my concealer, I'm going to use this translucent powder. It's the Insta Fix and Matte by Rimmel and ever since I've got it I've actually absolutely loved it so if you're looking for a translucent powder definitely pick up this I think it's around eight nine pounds so I'm just going to set that concealer and put it into place 
so it doesn't move out during the day and ruin my eyeshadow. Because look, already with no powder, it's creasing up. So when you put the powder on, it's not going to crease. So guys, I'm going to go and watch it tonight with my best pal. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting to watch it. I've heard so much about it. And apparently, it's not actually scary. It's like it's like a comedy horror. Um, so I'm excited about that because I'm not really into horror. But I really want to see what this one's like. And apparently, it's not that good compared to the first one that they made in the 1990s or is it the 1980s? Okay, so I've set that. And I'm just going to straight ahead go on to the eyes and okay so I'm not going to use a lot of browns for this look today but I'm just going to use one shade and it's from the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette and, and it's in the shade Cinnamon right here and the brush I'm using today is this one by Sigma it's the Tapered Blending E40 so I'm picking up this warm shade right here. It's such a beautiful brown neutral colour and I'm just going to do a halo eye. So I'm starting off with the outer V corner. I'm slightly putting that into the middle crease part. And I don't want to use that much product. And I just want to use that as a transition shade. And also in the inner corners. So I'm leaving that middle part here empty. And I'm also putting that upwards near my brow bone. So you can see it through later on. I absolutely love this brush right here. Works like magic. So that's me done with this palette right here. And I'm going to straight ahead go in with the Javia Place eyeshadow palette. And it's this one here. It's the Mark II. And I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here. It's called Madagascar. It's kind of a brown shade, but on the green side of it. So I'm just going to put that on top of the other shade. So I'm just doing circle motions on my outer V corner. The next shade I'm going to pick up is this green shade right here. It's called Egypt. And with my large shader E60 brush, I'm going to pick up some product and put that on my outer V. So I'm again putting that on my outer V corner. And I'm putting that up a bit more. Also putting that on the inner corners. Then going in with my fluffy brush again. I'm just going to blend in both colours together. And don't worry about fallout, this is why we're doing the eyes first. So you can just wipe off the excess. Picking up this brush right here, it's the eye shading E55. And I'm just picking up my setting spray by Urban Decay and wetting the brush. And I'm just using this light green colour right here from the Javier Place palette and this is going right into the center. So this is going to give me that pop of color. Next I'm just going to clean up all the excess. And then I'm going to add false lashes and these are the ones by Huda Beauty. It's in Fira. For mascara I'm using this one, it's by Maybelline. It's called Lash Sensational. And the brush looks like this. 
and I just got this the other day so I'm still trying it out to see if it's really good or not but so far I am loving it this is by one coat and you can see my lash separated and really long so until my lashes dry up I'm going to add some glue on the false lashes so that's the lashes on I'm just going to pick up this gel liner by collection it's just a black gel liner and just with this brush right here it's a Sigma eyeliner E05 so I'm just going to put that on my waterline okay so for foundation I'm picking up this one right here it's the new one that I bought the other day it's the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation and I did have this on yesterday um, I, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about this foundation um, but I'll give it another go so just with my finger I'm just going to dot out where I want my foundation to go and just with a beauty blender I'm just going to blend that all in So that's one half done. For concealer I'm using the one by Sephora and it's the high coverage concealer and I'm in the shade Peach. So I'm putting that on my under eyes. And I'm going to use the Ben 9 Banana Powder to set my concealer. So I'm going to bake my under eyes. For contouring, I'm going to use the one by Ellie Girl. It's in the shade Toast. And I'm just going to blend it all in before it dries in. Going back with the baking, I'm going to thin out my contour and give myself a sharp drawline. So I'm just going to quickly take off the excess and I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 to highlight the rest so I'm just going to do the middle of my nose my forehead the chin area and going back in with that beauty blender And for a little bit of bronze, I'm using the one by MUA, it's Sunkissed Bronze. And with this fluffy brush, I'm just going to bronze out my face. Going back in with that dark green shade, I'm going to put that on the outer V. And then going back in with that lighter green colour, I'm just going to put that in the middle. Adding a little bit more mascara. So I'm just going to set on my face with the Urban Decay setting spray. And then going in with the Maybelline liquid highlighter in the shade Light. I'm going to put that on my cheekbones. Three dots there. And three dots here. And just with my fingers, I'm just going to blend that all out really not into highlight you can just use this and that'll be you but I need more glow and I'm also going to put that on my nose 
and also my cupid's bow and for highlight i'm going to use one by anastasia it's the glow kit and i'm going to use the shade sunburst and bubbly together so it's just these two colors right here so i'm starting off with sunburst which is the lightest shade And I'm also putting that on top of my brow, my nose, cupid's bow, and my chin. And then going in with the shade bubbly, just to kind of bronze this up a bit. I'm going to mix it with the both colours. Oh my god. If I ever bring out makeup I will definitely bring out highlight highlight is my absolute favorite it just gives a amazing glow now I'm also going to use sunburst for my brow bone and my inner corners for that pop of highlight so you can just finish right here um, and have this khaki green colour um, but I'm going to just add something else onto this makeup look but you obviously don't need to do this um, so if you want to just leave it to this then you can just add some lipstick and that's you done but I'm going to go and just zoom you guys in a bit right here and I'm going to create the Gucci snake that I've seen trending online. So how I'm going to do that is a bit different from what other people have been doing. Is actually I'm just going to use red liquid lipstick and this one's by Huda Beauty in the shade Cheerleader. And I'm just going to use this thin angled brush right here. It's by Sigma Winged Liner E06. This is perfect for something like this. Wish me luck guys. Starting off like this. Okay, so I've already messed up. But you can just pick up a clean brush and clean that out with concealer. So I'm going to give that a curve. It's okay if it's not that neat right now because we are going to clean it up with concealer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use white liner and this one's by NYX and the Gucci style is white, red and black. And then I'm going in with that black eyeliner. So that's the snake here. So just with my foundation, I'm just going to go around the outline. I'm going in with this lip liner right here and I'm just going to line my lips. And for lipstick, I'm using this one right here. It's by Colourpop and it's in the shade Love Bug. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so guys, that's the final look. And if you enjoyed watching this, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. And also, you can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. It's just Shara Kamal with two L's at the end. Bye, guys.